opening weekend, we're talking about UFC 248. So happy to have two men who are incredibly respected in the world of MMA and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. First, to give the senior member of the two men here their respect, we have the fighting legend from Brazil, Mr. Valid Ishmael. Pleasure to be in your show. You know, I follow. You do a great job training with my brothers. Man, you're from the business. Thank you, man. That is an honor, and I really am grateful to hear you say that. My teacher, Fabiano Iha, was, was trained by Valid, had him in his corner, encouraging him many times. My other teacher, Paolo Tiago, a good friend. So I'm honored to have met this man who's a friend and equal to my teachers. Yeah, actually, we trained together. I trained together with Fabiano, and I was in, with him in Japan sometimes. He's a great, great man, great person. And, and Paulo Tiago. Yeah. Paulo Tiago is amazing. Where do you go, Paulo? <laughs> no, Paulo. <laughs> no running away. Yeah, yeah, no go yeah, away, no man. Away. Yeah, relax, man. No problem. He's, no, he's, he is the guy. Yep. Came here, come, came to, come to the world to make history. We're going to talk about this fight next week. Yes. This art today is going to be very interesting. Absolutely. And more from Bohachinia. Uh, really quickly, for those of you who don't know, when Hoist Gracie was beating everyone in the early days of MMA, uh, he finally met a fellow Brazilian and everyone in the MMA world then, which was no holds barred, says, oh, Hoist Gracie beats this guy, Valid Ishmael. No one heard of him. It's an easy match for Hoist Gracie. People say, take all the money you have if you can bet uh, it on Hoist Gracie. What happens? Valid Ishmael chokes Hoist Gracie see out with a clock joke in what about five minutes or four minutes 50 something seconds nice so yeah, yeah but the people not forgot i beat the half grace hands gracie and another member of the family is in another planet in another uh, but I, I yeah i beat the, you know what i mean these four guys but for hoist i have a lot of respect yeah. you know what i mean and for another you know fight is a fight not a big deal but because people talk a lot about this fight against Hoist, but I have great fights in my career, even against Luta Livre. I don't know if I have oh, yes. the people remember 9 1. And I'm very happy to continue in this business. When I see now a fighter like Paulo Costa, can be, I tell the people, I was the first fighter to make. Don't need to teach, just I have a sponsor. I truly believe the Paulo Costa is gonna be the first fighter to make a billion dollar. Nice. I have no doubt about that. The people need to understand. My first fight was 991. 1991, a long time ago. Yeah, two years before UFC even exists, yep. was Luta Livre against Jiu Jitsu. And this goal for the Gracie Action 2 was the base or uh, the business plan base for for UFC. You know what I mean? And when I see the fighter like Paulo do what he do it is unbelievable because he is the real deal. Yeah. You know how he fought with Romero was amazing. Now we are excited about this fight on Saturday because it's gonna be history. The people need to understand. Does it matter who gonna win on Saturday? It's gonna be historic. Yes. This is the most important thing. Absolutely. So sorry about No, no problem. That this happened. Man. Absolutely. Please. Thank you, brother. Yeah, that's gonna be a great match because the winner we know will have to face this man, Paulo Boachinha Costa, and that's gonna be amazing. It should be, I think, in 2020. And and, uh, man, I can't wait to see what's going to be in July. Oh, it is in fight week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, oh, I'm telling you, too, it's going to be July 11. This what, this what is going to be. Okay. You know what I mean? It's a, for me, it's a done deal. Nice. It's not maybe all the, no, it's, it's here to be in the first, in the first row on Saturday. Wait for the winner. Nice. That's if you're the senior, it's yeah. going to be great. But if you're Homer, it's going to be even amazing it because will. Homer is a great fighter. Yep. You know what I mean? Boa, Boa, she beat him. Rematch. Yeah, it'll, yeah be it's good. it'll be amazing. Boa, she beat him really badly. I count 3 0. 
Some people say two one. I say no. Well, for me, Borrachinha beat the three rounds because the people need to understand. The fighters move forward. Yes. Is the fight deserve to win? Yeah. The ring oh, generalship and control. You know what I mean? Yeah. This, yeah. this is my point. And in this fight, he, uh, Romero was pissed off about me. But let's go talk to this man. This man deserves all the attention. I appreciate that, Valid. Well, it's great talking to you. We'll come back to you for sure, my brother. I really okay. appreciate it. So we have Paulo Costa. So what we want to do is get his opinion on what we're looking at, and then we can come back to Valid as well. Uh, so, uh, Paulo, this is a very interesting fight. Adesanya, a guy you hate. <laughs> right. I really, I really hate him. Yeah. But, Colin, you know, uh, first of all, it's a pleasure to have you guys here, and Valid also. This guy's a real legend, you know. Thank you. He is indeed. Yeah. And uh, but for me, it really doesn't matter who we get win. You know, I can fight against Homer yeah. one more time, or you know, give 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 to him this rematch. I I really don't care. And uh, because if I fight against Homer again, for sure, I don't have double about that. I will knock him out for this time. And you know. He's the only guy that I, I never, I, I know, I, I didn't finish all my fights before him. Or finish. I finished, yeah. Never, so never, never, never went. Just I, 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 no, I never went for the end of the third round. So, so for the first, the time this, this, it's happened, and uh, against the designer, you know, he's personal. You know, I don't like him, and uh, where. Where I see him, I will broke his face. I don't care where. Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, you're not a fan of his. I think you don't like him. He doesn't like you. And uh, this is going to be good then when you two guys fight, if it happens. Let me let me have your opinion on what we're looking at here from a breakdown. If I can put you in the position of like uh, your trainers and coach. And also, I want to make sure that people know, Valid Ishmael is the manager uh, of Mr. Paulo Costa. So he definitely is someone that is making sure to look out uh, for uh, for this man and knows probably more about him than anybody else. So we really appreciate having you here a lot, Valid, and we'll come right back to you for an opinion. So, Paulo, put, the, if you will, your trainer and coach hat on to give me some thoughts here about this fight. Everyone looks at Adesanya and Romero. So many people are saying, oh, this is not a hard fight for Adesanya. He's, he's, mm, they think you're right. They think Romero, not a hard fight for Adesanya. I, th I think it is a hard fight, but tell me, do you think this is a hard fight is, or will we finally see Romero wrestle? He has to wrestle. This is a tall, skinny kickboxing guy. If he doesn't wrestle, it's almost crazy but can you tell me do you think this is a close fight and what what do you think we will see on Saturday when I look for this fight I believe I think I think Romero has more chance to to get win in the first second or third round he has more powerful and uh he more strong, and uh, I feel American knock him, knock him out also. You know, I just can see a discerner getting this fight for decisions. You know, when Homer Homero gets out and things like that, because he's more he ha he has more muscles, what expend more, a lot of energy, a lot of oxygen, so. But I believe Homer will beat him. You know, I, I think. I think. I don't know. I really don't know. Right. And I don't know for for who I I want to. Right. <laughs> I, I wish to you know to to get one. I don't know, man. For me, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Yeah. I just I just want fight for belt and take my my belt. You know, take my, take my, take my gold. I train hard every day for long years ago yeah. to this opportunity. <laughs> And uh, that's it. I just, <laughs> I just, I, I will be there, enjoying, you know, and look for who who will be my, my next opponent. I'm on the position like a champion, you know. Yes. The yep. guys will fight. Yep. 
to to see who you fight against me. So this is amazing. <laughs> You're in, they always say in America, the cat bird seat, where he's just waiting to see which one of these men deserve uh, to fight him. I like that. I just I just need to say one thing. I am on this position like a champion yeah. because I decided to avoid this fight against me, right, uh, on, on April, because I I call with Valid, I call to Dana White and say, that Dana, I can fight on April. Oh, uh, may, maybe, but April, I, I can I can rush to fight against this guy because I, I don't need to to get 100% to, to beat him, Adesanya, I'm talking about. And he say, okay, let me see with Adesanya. And Adesanya say, no, 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 I cannot fight. I cannot wait for Paulo until April. I need to fight on March. Right. Oh, don't make sense, no, right? No, no, one month. What, to fight against, against Romero, who come from two or three losses in a row? Yeah. You know, doesn't make any sense. So, to me, he's avoided that fight against me. So, let's see what happened. Yeah, absolutely. And this is contrary to what Israel Adesanya is saying. Israel saying that Paulo avoiding fighting him, yeah. and uh, it seems like this is not the case. No, it's a joke. <laughs> we chase for this fight. We begging for this fight. I call everybody, Hunter, Mick, Dan White. Please wait a little bit more. Adesanya don't wanna wait. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Nobody, UFC don't like, you know what I mean? But this is going to be a good fight. Yeah. We cannot take nothing out of this fight. But the truth is, we are asking for Paulo fight again, Adesanya. I even, I even we tag him. Please, Adesanya, wait for this fight. Right, in the, the A lot in the Instagram. Please wait for this fight. You're crazy. Urging him. To urging him. To yeah, win. urging him. Man. Asking him, please say almost begging him, right. Adesanya, wait for Paulo because this is gonna be millions pay per view sell because you people didn't send. This is a fight they both undefeated, undefeated, and both hate each other. Yeah, I'm, absolutely. Man, this fight is the fight to be made, but doesn't matter. The the best line you can have, Paulo just. Make right now, he feel like he's the champion because yeah. one, the both one avoid another lost. Right, right. fuck, yeah. he is the champion, the people champion. Yes, I like that. The people's champion, <laughs> the man who these uh, two men on Saturday will be fighting for the right to face. So absolutely, Paul, you're in a great uh, position. Let me just clarify your feeling on the card. I know you're not sure who wins on the on the main event, the title fight. I think you feel. Probably Romero has the more power, more muscular, more strong. Uh, but I, I believe just to clarify that you said the only way maybe it can be Adesanya is if if Romero gets tired in the later rounds, right? Is this yes. this is what you said? Yes, that's okay. it. Correct. And so, but your favor is not only is he disagreeing because in the in the betting and the gambling odds, uh, the favor not huge but somewhat big. The favorite is Adesanya. Adesanya, many people saying, oh, easy fight for Adesanya. You disagree. It's a tough fight. You know, I have seen on the internet and uh, at least on Brazil, the most people think, feeling Homer will beat him. Oh, wow. In, in Brazil, it's different. Maybe not not here on, on on the bets, you know, I don't say. The gambling or the betting, the lines. That's it. And maybe 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 just on this, uh, Romero is underdog. But I just like to to ask one thing to Romero: for for where this this fight goes, if he lost or take one or or, or, or become a winner, I just ask for him not kill the son 100 percent. Let a little bit part for me because I want to finish this job. Love that. Leave a little bit uh, for me, says uh, Bohachinha, the eraser, Paulo Costa, for uh, uh, for uh, Mr. Uh, Yo Romero. Uh, Yo Romero, you you don't hate him, you don't dislike him at all, or or yes, a little bit. He he says something, some some things bad. He say, ah, I think Paulo Costa. Some uh, uh, he say, somebody tell me, uh, if Paulo Costa falls on Uzada drug test some some months ago before our fight, and there was I I'm not happy with that. 
And uh, but you know maybe I don't know if he's bad bad a good person, but you know. <laughs> you like him better than Adesanya. Yeah, Adesanya is a shit, a shit of wo- <laughs> human. He's a shit human. I hear you absolutely. So uh, the prediction uh, is you you think if you have to make a prediction, I I know it's you say it could be either way, but if you had to say Romero wins, you think in the inside he stops him, or if Romero wins, it's the distance. <laughs> Sorry, repeat, please. Uh, if Romero does win, and if you think he does, would you say it's by a knockout or it's by the points for the decision? By knockout or, sub- so, or we will submit him, you know? Okay. I think so. Or maybe <clears throat> or, or take the first three rounds and was the best one or the best two, right. something like that. He starts quick, kind of uh, a yeah, little, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it starts better. Yeah, okay. Now, for the master, I will call the respected uh, pioneer of MMA fighting and uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Valide Ismail. Uh, what do you feel about this fight? Is it close? What do you think is interesting in this matchup? And then a prediction, if you will. My prediction is... <laughs> I'm Erwin, but I'm to believe, and I wanna, I wanna believe Adesanya gonna win. You know what I mean? But for me, Adesanya not real. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't wanna say because you know. Oh, treasure, uh, yeah, the Paul, Skin Paul, guy. Paul, you need to talk to Paul about. You know, there's a the same way. Tell him when he challenge, when he challenge John Jones. John Jones say, "Hey, I want to fight." Oh. When you challenge a guy, yeah. you cannot ask him for time. For two years or three, three years. This yeah. Is, this, yeah. This, this the MMA is upside down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the world. You yeah. are a fighter. Yeah. You challenge the guy. Yeah. The guy say, "Okay, yes." Oh, I did two years. Man, the guy did to be banned of this sport. He should be banned, right? <laughs> On a side. Yeah. With yeah. this answer, yep. I, I cannot look in the mirror. Right. Yeah. If I give this answer, I don't yeah. know. This guy, you know what I mean? They, they, the sport is wonderful, but they have some guys don't know, <laughs> like, what, no, they're, what they're saying, even, right? Uh, no, he's not shaming, uh, not to have a shame, you know what no, I mean? Right. Uh, he, he should be embarrassed oh, to challenge yeah, Paulo did this. But this was at the, I just say the line Paulo told me, hey, yeah. Valid, I'm not believing this guy because how you challenge somebody, somebody say yes, you ask for two years. Yeah. This guy not exist. No, no. <laughs> it seems, yeah, it, it's, it comes to something in his head that's not working 100% no, right, man. I think. Yeah, <laughs> this is the baddest thing, uh, be, be, the baddest roast, the 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 most roast things, the, the most roast thing I have ever seen on my life on MMA history. <laughs> he called, what what he said? Yep, John Jones. John Jones to fight. John Jones say, let's go. Yeah. In Dana, Dana White say on Twitter, this is can be a great fight. Let's do that. Yeah. And he said no. <laughs> Sorry, me. <laughs> two, two more years. Two more. I need two more years. John John is too much to me, man. Yeah. What kind of guy is that? So, uh, maybe he's the most uh, fearful, uh, uh, scare champion I have ever seen in my life. Gotcha. Yep. What kind of champ is that? Yeah. He asked John Jones. All the environment was very nice. Should that ha- should that fight happen? Yeah. John Jones said yes. Then I agree, and he said no. I need two years to fight against John Jones. He is the most scared champion I have I, I I have seen ever on my life. So that is a very very interesting statement. It makes sense from Paulo Costa and Valid Ishmael uh, dubbing Israel Adesanya the middleweight champion, the most scared uh, champion uh, that he that they either of them have ever seen before and there could be some merit to that it is quite interesting to challenge someone and then when they respond and accept and the promoter accepts say i'll fight you in two years that is quite that that is a distinction i think that only israel adesanya has well i really appreciate uh the opinion of both mr valid ishmael mr paulo costa but i need to say just the last thing i know why he's so scared because when you look for him he don't look like uh Huge guy, so he's strong. He looks fragile, you know. I'm, I can say that like a fire. 
you know, since nine years old. When I look for, for one guy who I will train against or fight against the, him, I look for his bones, his size, and he looks, and Adesanya looks so fragile, you know. He had a, he got already two knockouts on with big gloves on glory or kickboxing. Imagine with four ounces on his hands. Big difference. I, I can man. Yeah. Almost kill him. Yeah, absolutely understood. And I, I, I could see that for sure. I also realized that we did get the prediction of a stoppage by submission uh, or knockout from Paulo Costa. We didn't quite get the final word for this fight this weekend. Valid Ishmael Romero against Adesanya. The prediction, if you will, how this fight ends, who wins and when. And man, I think Romero going to win. But they're gonna, I don't want to say because I want Adesanya one. You know, it's crazy feeling. Yeah, yeah. Because in my mind, I think Adesanya going to lose. But I want to win. I cannot predict something. I don't want right. to happen. You know what? I'm going to say, hey, I, I want Adesanya win, but he's going to lose by knockout. In the, no. Right. I prefer to say, hey, I think he's going to lose, but I'm cheering for him. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it's such a big match with yeah. Paolo. Yeah. Adesanya, you know, do something. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't like to look. You know, he lost in the way to in. Yeah. When are you dancing? Just uh, don't die. Just, 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 don't die. just not die. Don't die. Don't die, don't says he. Please. <laughs> I love that. Very good point, gentlemen. Well, I really appreciate uh, the time of both of you and the great insight. Valid Ismael, Paulo Costa, thank you so much. And uh, we look forward to what's going to happen this Saturday. Colin Crandall for MMA Power Hour on Fight TV. We'll be coming back soon. Great. Thank you.